Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Um, today for math, we're gonna do a cooking measuring activity. I'm actually gonna provide a pretty easy recipe um, that you can probably modify with whatever you have at home. Uh, but I thought this would be cool since spring is here, the weather seems like it's a little bit nice. Um, so we're gonna make blueberry energy bites. You could have them for breakfast, for a snack, but all together, they're not bad for you. So um, the first thing we have to do is read our recipe. So we know it says that they're called blueberry energy bites. For our ingredients, we have one cup of dry oats, one fourth of a cup of almond butter. If you, you don't have that, you could use peanut butter at home. A fourth of a cup of honey. We need a half a cup of dried blueberries, which I don't have. I have fresh blueberries, so we're gonna try that and see how it turns out. Uh, we also need a fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, a half teaspoon of vanilla, and salt is optional, but I'm probably gonna add some. So. For our preparation, we're gonna mix together oats, almond butter, and honey in a big bowl. So I got out a big bowl right here. We're gonna add the dried blueberries, cinnamon, vanilla, and salt, and mix it all together after that. Then we put the bowl in the fridge for like 30 minutes to an hour. And the mixture by then should have gotten more solid. And then we're gonna make it into little bite-sized balls and then you can eat them. Um, I would probably keep them in the fridge so that they stay good, but anyway, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and do this. So I guess the next thing we need to do is make sure that we have all the tools we need. So we need a big bowl. We need a spoon. We need measuring cups. So right here, we have one cup. We have one half cup. We have one third cup and we have a fourth cup. We also are going to need our set of teaspoons. So here it has a tablespoon, we've got a teaspoon, we've got a half teaspoon, we've got a fourth of a teaspoon, and yeah, there's some du duplicates on here. But anyway, I think we have all we need. We, well, we've got our blueberries, we've got our oats, we've got our cinnamon, our vanilla, salt, and I think flax. No, we have almond butter and honey. So first thing we're gonna do is mix together the oats, almond butter, and honey in a large bowl. So we're gonna need our one cup. If you guys can see that, it's very important to measure. So I'm gonna do this so you guys can see. So we add our one cup of oats. And now we can put our oats to the side. Now we need to add one fourth of a cup of almond butter. So I'm gonna get my fourth cup and I'll say that on here. I don't know if you guys can see very well, but I've got our almond butter right here. And I need something to get it out with. So I'm gonna get like a little knife here. And sometimes it depends on your nut butter that you have, but mine needs to be stirred. So I gotta stir it for a minute. And then we're gonna start measuring it into that one fourth of a cup. And just do your best. When you are baking especially, it's very important for you to have accurate measurements. But most of you know that already. So let's see here. Even though this isn't technically baking, it's more of just like putting ingredients together. So, We've got our a fourth cup. So now I'm gonna do my best to get all that out and slop it into our dish here. Since we'll stir with this, I'm just gonna use that to do some scraping. It's 
very hard to get this nut butter out of here. All right, so nice and empty now. So we can set that down to the side. We've got our oats and our nut butter in here. And now we need to add a fourth of a cup of honey. So I've got this honey right here. So I'm gonna open that up and use our fourth cup again. there. Very viscous. All right. So we've got our honey and now we're just going to dump that on in. I'm going to bring back our little knife that we used to scrape out our last stuff and just knock that on in here. set that to the side since that's empty and to follow our ingredients what we will do next is just mix it in a large spool so we've got everything we need now we just mix very gently because you don't want to spill and make a mess Very good, guys. It smells good, too. So, after you're all mixed together, it should look like cookie dough, basically. Uh, now, we are going to add our blueberries, our cinnamon, our vanilla, and our salt. So, it says a half a cup of dried blueberries. I'm gonna be loose with my measurement on this one because this is all the blueberries I've got. It might be a half cup. Oh, it's perfectly a half, half a cup. So we're gonna add in our fresh blueberries, just like that. Then we're gonna add in our cinnamon. So let's get our cinnamon out. And I believe this is a fresh pack, so I'm gonna have to actually open it. Very carefully. And for this one, the measurement calls for a fourth of a teaspoon. So we're gonna have to get our teaspoon set out and find one fourth of a teaspoon. So right there. So I'm just gonna stick it on in here and we've got our fourth of a teaspoon and dump it in. And we'll set that to the side. And next we need our vanilla. We need a half of a teaspoon of vanilla. So we're gonna get our set back out and get your little bottle of vanilla. So we're gonna find one half of a teaspoon. One half teaspoon. And then we're gonna pour our vanilla into our half teaspoon. Oops. Be careful, it comes out really quickly, just like you guys saw there. So I've added my vanilla now. And now we just need to add salt. Salt is optional and it doesn't say how much, so I'm gonna do about a pinch. If I can get it to come out. For some reason, my salt is sticking. I guess that's all the salt we get for today. Clearly we don't need it. So now we just need to mix again to combine. And we have these wonderful healthy blueberry bites it looks like guys this looks like it's going to be really good so what we need to do now let me show you is chill them and then we'll make them into little balls and it'll be perfect 
Okay, as good as it gets. All right, so in the fridge we go. All right, well, I hope you guys had fun making our super fun and easy, healthy blueberry energy bites. And I can't wait to see if you guys make this or if you like it or if you are making something on your own. But yeah, you guys are amazing. Thank you for doing math with me today. See you soon. All right, guys, it's that time in our recipe. Um, we've had our little mixture cooling in the fridge. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out. We're gonna make it into little bite-sized balls and then we're gonna try one and then put them in the fridge for whenever we need some more energy. Let's get them out. Oh yeah, these are nice and cold. So I'm actually going to get out this little dish here because I think that should fit them pretty nicely and get a little spoon and we're gonna make our little energy bites and roll them into balls make sure your hands are clean i washed before i turned on my video so here's one ball and another oh that one's a little falling apart let's try again Another. This is very sticky. <laughs> okay. Another. Let's see here. All right, another. I think these are gonna be so tasty, guys. I can't wait. We've got another. So it looks like this is not gonna make too, too many, but they should be pretty tasty. And another one. And I think this one's gonna be our last one. All right, let's wash our hands. Here we go, our energy balls. Let's try one. Wow, guys, that is so good. I approve. Have a wonderful day.